Cryptography is everywhere. We use it for data confidentiality. One of the key components of cryptography is hash functions. They have a different purpose. Make sure that no one tampers with your data. Hash functions are nothing more than a mathematical function that will take just about any input, either one kilobyte input or one gigabyte input, and map it to a fixed sized output. It will always be the fixed size output, and if you change something, even if it's just the dot character in your text or in your file, that will change the whole hash value. So for our purposes, we will use the OpenSSL. OpenSSL is a free public toolkit, which is available for almost any operating system out there. I'm using a Mac, but you can also use it using Windows OS or Linux OS. So what we will do is the following. We will write a secret message using a text editor, the Vim text editor. We will change one character in the message itself and we will see how the hash value changes. So let's start. Let's just write down Vim. Vim is the text editor. Let's, um, let's call our message, our file, let's call it secrety.txt. Once you press enter, you get into the text editor and the message will be, please send me $100. No, sorry for that. Now uh, we want to save our file. For that, press the escape button, type colon and type WQ. Press enter and your file is saved. Let's just open it again to be sure that it was saved. Cut secret t.txt. Please send me $100. Now, the next thing to do is to calculate the hash value of that file. For that, we'll use OpenSSL. Now, let's use the SHA256. Uh, hash function. SHA is a popular hash algorithm. Now we are actually mapping our input to a 256-bit key or value. You can also use SHA-128 or SHA-512-bit. We'll use the SHA-256 and we are actually mapping the secret T dot txt to a new hash value and that's the hash value. Now if someone tempers with your secret message the hash value will change. Now let's do it. Write down Vim. Just let's open the file that we have just created. Now press the I so you will enter the insert mode and change it to, let's change it to $500. Let's just All right. So press escape again, type colon and WQ. Let's open the new file again to see that it was changed. Yes, please send me $500. And the next thing to do is to calculate the new hash value of the file that we have just changed. Now it seems that the hash value has changed. That's the way, the basic way that we calculate hashes out of different inputs. And if they match, then no one tempered with your message. If something has changed if the hash value is not the same, then someone has tampered with your message. Now this was just the beginning of understanding how hash functions work. If you want to play around with more hash functions, you can use the OpenSSL 
hyphen h where you will see all the relevant comments. In the message digest, a hash is actually a message digest, you will see more hash operations that you can use within your text.